Hey everyone, welcome to another video from Random Shashi. Today I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux in your Windows PC with WSL2. With the release of Windows Subsystem for Linux, there is no need of doing a dual boot or using VMware. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. And without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, the first step is to press the Windows plus R key to open the Run dialog box and type in WINVER. A dialog box will pop up and here we have our Windows version and make sure your Windows version is minimum of 2004 or above. If you don't have a minimum of version 2004, go to Windows Update and update to the latest version of Windows 10. If you are on the latest version, you are good to go. Okay. The first step is to open the PowerShell as administrator and type in the following command. All the commands I'll be running will be in the description. You just have to copy and paste it. This command enables the Windows optional feature Windows Subsystem for Linux. After it's done, do a system restart. Open PowerShell as administrator once again and run the following command from the description. This will enable the Windows Virtual Machine platform. After that's done, copy and paste the next command from the description and run it. This will enable the Windows subsystem for Linux. After that, do a system restart. The next step is to go to the link given in the description and download WSL2 Linux kernel. After the download's done, install the kernel. The next step is to set WSL2 as the default version. For that, open PowerShell as administrator and paste in the following command. This will set WSL2 as the default version. Now we are ready to install Kali Linux. For that, go to the Microsoft Store and search for Kali Linux. I was facing some issues with the Microsoft Store, so I had to manually download and install Kali Linux from the Microsoft website. I'll leave links to that in the description. The Kali Linux command line is successfully installed. So the next step is to set a username and a password. The Kali Linux command line is set up and ready to go. In the next step, we'll install the UI of Kali Linux. Before we install the desktop for Kali Linux, we need to do a system update. For that, run the following command. The command will be in the description. You have to enter the password you set while installing Kali Linux and press enter. Type in Y and press enter. After that's finished, run the following command, sudo apt install xrdp. This will install xrdp which lets you access your Kali Linux desktop using the Windows Remote Desktop protocol. Now enter your password and press enter. Finally, we'll install our Kali Linux desktop. For that, run the following command sudo apt install kali desktop xfce and press enter. After that's installed, we are ready to log into a kali linux desktop. For that, First run the following command, sudo service xrdp start. Ok, after that's done, we need to get the IP address. For that type IPADD and press enter.
this is the IP address of our Kali Linux machine. So we'll copy this and paste it into the remote desktop connection in the start menu. Paste the IP address and click connect. After that's done, you'll get a following screen. You have to type in your username and your password and press OK. Now you'll be booted into Kali Linux. That's it for this video guys. If you face any issues or have any doubts, feel free to ask them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. This is Random Sheshi signing off.